Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Diablo 3 status update episode number 37, the vlog where I talk about Diablo 3 news, updates, changes, balance, making money, and of course bitching about Battle.net 2.0. On today's agenda, we have a few things, nothing special, but first of all I wanted to talk about a survey that I noticed on Reddit. Now this is a survey like a certain survey that was on Blizzard a few months ago and this survey is basically what class are you going to play the most when Diablo 3 comes out based on what you currently know about the game and how it's played and which region are you from now I as someone playing from the US East <clears throat> am pretty happy about this survey because uh, 45% of the people that answered this survey are from the East Coast of the USA, so that's really cool. Um, but that's not what I'm going to talk about. What I'm here to talk about is the fact that on Blizzard's website, the, mo the number one most likely to be played class was the Barbarian for their survey, followed closely by the Wizard, and dead last was the Witch Doctor. Now, things have changed a little bit, at least as far as the Redditors go, and remember, there's only around... 1757, 1,757 people on the update I'm looking at had filled it out, and of them, 26% chose the Barbarian as the highest number. However, the second place choice was, believe it or not, the Monk. The Monk had second place behind the Barbarian with 21%. So that is... that's a huge change. The Monk was actually going to be one of the least played classes. In fact, it was second to lowest next to the Witch Doctor, I believe. Don't hold me to that, but I believe it was like that on the original one. Or on the original survey. So, this shows a pretty substantial change based on what people thought of the way classes felt like on the beta. Now, another thing I want to point out is the fact that the wizard was a close second and now the wizard is actually third or fourth on the list. The wizard is second to last. And this is pretty significant because the number three is the demon hunter, which puts the witch, the wizard as number four and then the witch doctor is dead last. Now, the demon hunter, I said a long time ago was going to get a buff or it will be played more. In fact, all classes will get buffs. That The classes that are played the least will be buffed the most to encourage people to play them and experience them and to sink more time into the game. And obviously to make it more interesting, there are positives to it. But anyway, the wizard was number two. Now it's at number four. And a I think a lot of this is because people, A, found out that the wizard was not nearly as much fun as people thought it was going to be. It just wasn't that much fun. And from my experience, it's, it, it's my least favorite class. And the demon hunter is a lot of fun. The demon hunter is not as smash and grab as the monk, but the demon hunter is, I mean, it's a ranged version of the barbarian or monk. It's just spraying damage everywhere. If you have a good connection and you're good at micromanaging things, then the demon hunter is the way to go. The demon hunter is really cool. But anyway, the thing that's really interesting to me, the most interesting part, is that the witch doctor is still dead last, which is why I think the witch doctor is the most likely class to get a buff. That's why I will say I still plan on playing the Witch Doctor, and if the Witch Doctor is slightly weaker than other classes for a period of time, it, that will change very quickly. Anytime when there is a class that is drastically underplayed, it will be buffed so that people try to play it more. And given the fact that it's a pet class, I think the potential for soloing is nearly endless with the Witch Doctor. So I'm really excited to play the Witch Doctor, and this also, I'm actually more excited to play the Witch Doctor, seeing that less people are going to play it, because it increases the chances that the Witch Doctor will be buffed, and will, made a more a, will be made into a more valuable class, and will thus make my character more valuable. So, really quickly, the next thing I wanted to talk about is DVR Alert Diablo 3 TV commercial airs Sunday on Fox with Family Guy. This will be Sunday, April 29th at 9 p.m. on Fox. And this, or, yeah, 9 p.m., I believe, for the East Coast. And this really doesn't... This, this is just more fluff news. It just shows that Blizzard is sinking enough money to put a Diablo 3 ad into Family Guy 
which is a pretty watched show. It's a it's a pretty valuable revenue time slot. So it shows that Blizzard is investing money into this, and Blizzard is hyping this up. Oh, and last but certainly not the least, um, Monday. April 30th, this coming Monday, is the last day to get the WoW Annual Pass. The last day for the WoW Annual Pass deal. It's the last day you can sign up for a year of World of Warcraft and get Diablo 3 along with it. So that itself is a pretty big deal. So that's, that's, pretty, that's pretty wild. So the last thing, uh, that's it for today's Diablo 3 news. So if that's what you came for, as I assume many of you did, you can go ahead and zone out. But I just wanted to touch on a few housekeeping things. First of all, this show, I'm going to try to produce produce another episode this weekend. Hopefully it'll be a little more organized because I'm exhausted from work right now. However, I am going to cut the status update back to once a week. Evil Money, uh, and this will be starting next week. Evil Money will be starting uh, once a week on Saturday, starting the Saturday before the Tuesday that is launched. So that would be Saturday, May the. Sorry about this. That would be Saturday, May the 12th, would be the first episode of Evil Money. And I'm also going to be doing a little more with StarCraft. I want to start uploading at least one cast a week, maybe a best of three cast a week, but preferably your casts. So I'm trying to do um, one or two StarCraft casts a week in addition to Evil Money, in addition to Status Update, which will now be uh, under seven minutes instead of under five minutes, and it will be a vlog that I will put up once a week and status update I haven't decided it will either be Wednesday or Friday still up in the air about it but anyway thank you for watching I might do a little streaming later tonight I'm hoping to start streaming around 9 30 10 p.m. tonight uh, tonight's Friday April 27th so just for reference and the link to my stream will be in the videos information thank you for watching if you like my videos please subscribe like them upvote them on reddit it means the world to me you can find me on Twitter at Mac X 10 and I will see you next time bye bye <laughs>